Hi, this is Joe and Tim from Borowski Race Engines, and we're here to talk today about the differences between various LS blocks. Uh, we have uh, this is a GM LS3 block, uh, aluminum. This is an iron uh, dart SHP block. Uh, they look pretty similar, but there are some really significant differences, and we're going to talk through them. Uh, you know, obviously, I, uh, aluminum versus iron is a, is a big deal. But let's uh, starting at the top. Let's look at some of the visible differences. Tim, if you here in the valley, you could see the oil galleries for the displacement on demand that a lot of Gen 4 LSs were, uh, you know, came available with. Um, whereas you don't see that on the dark version. Looking at uh, another very important difference is the number of bolts per head. And uh, Tim, if uh, you could point out on here the... Uh, you know, yeah, there is um, 10 total uh, major fasteners on this block here, whereas there is 23 total fasteners on this block. And in addition, the size are not the same. The, uh, the yeah, head these are 10 millimeter uh, thread versus a 7 16 come standard on the dark block. Yeah, and that uh, that makes for a huge difference in clamping, both the number of, uh, uh, of fasteners and the size of the fasteners. Uh, uh, as you go up at horsepower, one of the issues is the heads want to lift off and you need a lot more clamping pressure to hold in that. Okay, the thicknesses on the deck, decks between the two blocks is pretty major. The GM block offers about a quarter inch of total deck thickness before it tapers off, whereas the dark block offers about a half inch of total deck thickness. Okay, so you can see the LS, or the stock GM block uses a powdered metal main cap uh, with a 10 millimeter uh, main stud versus the LS next SHP block uses a billet main cap along with 7 16 standard fasteners and their splayed main caps versus the LS uses a side bolt to pull the uh, webbing in. So what, uh, what we see is that uh, yeah, it, I think it's visually obvious that uh, the dart is a much stronger uh, bottom end than the uh, uh, than the standard GM configuration. Well, the GM blocks, the way they oil is they send oil right from the filter to the oil, to the lifter galleries, and then come down to the mains. Whereas the dart blocks, all of the dart blocks, are priority main, so it feeds the main bearings first then up to the lifters and the cam. Yeah, one uh, other very important difference between these uh, blocks is the length of the sleeve. We uh, uh, have a quarter inch difference uh, that uh, Tim can show you now on yeah. the uh, tape measure. So you can see here we're measuring just about five and a half inches from the top of the deck down to the bottom where the steel sleeve stops. And then we'll come over here to the dart block. And you can see that we're five and three quarters inch from the top of the deck down to the bottom of the cylinder. And uh, that difference means that the piston is going to be supported uh, through the full length of its stroke as opposed to uh, uh, you know, if you put all else being equal, long stroke on both of these, the bottom of the piston will be out uh, side of the sleeve and unsupported. So, uh, hold on. This over here is actually a, uh, uh, one of the original uh, uh, Dart LS Next blocks, and you'll see the difference is the skirts. Uh, the SHP version has skirts, as does as do all of the LS blocks. That one has the uh, uh, the main caps uh, in it. But uh, here, this does not have a skirt. You'll see from the side, it requires a special oil pan. We have a custom one. We're able to take advantage of that uh, that feature. 
uh, but uh, uh, the uh, the SHP and the new SHP Pro are all skirted and will take standard uh, GM type design. Now, one of the other things that is available as we go up the power ladder with the dark block is that uh, they offer what's called an LS Next Squared. And what that does is replaces the 7 16 uh, with half inch main studs and it goes with the Ford Cleveland style mains, which are bigger and heavier, which allow you to put the, uh, the bigger main studs in there. Uh, so once uh, you go to uh, to that configuration, then uh, you know you're able to take it up, ramp it up into really big power. And, uh, yeah, so basically, those are some of the uh, the key differences between these blocks. Uh, you know, it's a, a matter of uh, you know, what's your budget, what is your uh, uh, intended horsepower, horsepower target, uh, what kind of power error are you intending? If you're looking to put a or five Whipple on top of one of these, well, yeah, uh, you're looking at a dark block and uh, uh, yeah, all of the other internals that uh, you need to because that would make uh, short work of, uh, of this particular block over here. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, overall, you know, it comes down to for each application as you step up the ladder, uh, different price points uh, and different physical requirements. Uh, I think they all have a role and uh, you know, we make a lot of great engines out of each and every one of these blocks. So uh, hope that helps. Any questions, give us a call. Borowski Race Engines or Joliet, Illinois, 815-725-2727. Thanks.